in this lesson we are going to study about hydrostatic crust and the center of rotation so what is hydrostatic crust and what is center of rotation firstly center of rotation center of rotation is also called the tipping center it is the geometric center of the and water pool area of the ship and it is at this point that the ship will pivot what is meaning by pivot from this point the trim changes will take place so this hydrostatic particulars of the ship are indicated against the true draft of the ship and depending on the location of the center of rotation the hydrostatic draft will be or may be a little different from the midship draft that is the arithmetical mean of the ship's forward and aft drafts the hydrostatic draft is measured at its center of rotation not at the midship but at the center of rotation the hydrostatic table are based on four factors first uh, they based on hydrostatic draft second they are based on the vessel exploding in salt water third based on the vessel being upright and fourth based on the vessel having an even keel that is the forward and aft draft are the same and vessel upright meaning she has no lift so let us take this slide and discuss this further we have the ship we have a forward perpendicular aft perpendicular this is the midship mark and this is your vertical along the midship mark at the midship mark you will have the plimsoll line but the midship draft will be slightly aft of that the drafts that are marked on the hull of the ship are not on the aft perpendicular and likewise not on the forward perpendicular on the forward perpendicular on the front forward uh, they could be at this along the stem of the ship and aft and on the aft they could be located anywhere forward or aft of the aft perpendicular so for the sake of this uh, lecture we will assume that we are able to read the drafts on the forward and aft perpendicular though in real life that is not so you actually have to read the drafts as they are marked and then you have to convert them to be as if they are on the aft and forward perpendiculars and on the midship so that is part of the second net syllabus and will not be discussed here likewise the draft marks could be instead of along the stem they could be located here and this the midship is exactly where it is and the aft is exactly where it is it's just that the draft marks at the forward are shown over here so once again these draft marks have to be the draft read on these marks has to be converted to the forward perpendicular now coming to the center of rotation center of rotation can be referenced either from midship or from the aft perpendicular in a hydrostatic tables if it is referenced from midship it is referred to as h if it is referenced from the aft perpendicular it is referenced to as af or lcf now in this, this slide we see, see the ship it is on even keel at the end of the water line is at wl here the center of rotation and the midship mark we are at the same spot so what happens is when she trims around this center of rotation that is the tipping center she will trip evenly forward and aft that means this 
Shra is this change of trim per x will be the same as the change of trim per an arc also equal to x. In other words, the total trim of the ship will be x plus x equal to 2x. Now the trim is also calculated by the difference of forward and aft drafts. It is the difference, it is the difference between the forward and aft draft. Now take for example how forward draft is 6 meters, aft draft is 6 meters. The mean of the two is 6 plus 6 divided by 2 is 6 meters and this will be the draft at the midship. And this is also the uh, as a static draft because F, which is the center of rotation, is located exactly at the midship mark. If the ship has to be trimmed uh, by the stern, whereby the aft draft is more than the forward draft. The, so let us take this example at the bottom. The water line is at W1 L1 and the forward draft is 5.6 meters, half draft is 6.4 meters. The mean of 5.6 and 6.4 is 6 meters. That is 6.4 plus 5.6 gives you 12 divided by 2 gives you 6. And since the center of rotation is exactly at mid shape, the as the static graph as well as the mean graph are also the same, that is 6 meters. Now we go to the next slide graph. Huh? Here we take a case where the center of rotation is not at mid shape, it is slightly aft of mid shape and located at this point. We will follow some sign conventions now, as which I will explain to you. When HF, when HF is located aft of miniships, when F is located aft of miniships, and when the trim is by the stern, we will consider that to be positive sign. When HF or F is located forward of midships, there is some anywhere forward of this is your midship mark, this is your midship line, when it is anywhere forward of that, that will be considered as negative. Similarly, F is always forward of the aft perpendicular. Here is the aft perpendicular, and F is always forward of the aft perpendicular. Hence AF is always negative. Another thing is when she is trimmed by the head, that means the forward draft is more than the aft draft, that will also be considered as negative. So having gone through this sign convention, let us take it further. The ship is on the end field. This is your midship mark, midship line. Here is the center of rotation. The forward draft is 6 meters. The aft draft is 6 meters. Our mean draft will also be 6 meters. And since she is on the even keel, the hydrostatic draft will also be 6 meters. Now let us suppose she is going by the stern. Whereby the wherein the forward draft has now changed from 6 meters, it has changed to 5.5 meters, and the aft draft has changed from 6 meters to 6.3 meters. So, as you can see, the aft draft is more than the forward draft. We take the mean of these two, 5.5 plus 6.3 divided by 2, we get the mean draft to be 5.9 meters. Now, where is your mean graph located? Is it at point J or is it at point H? Now, please understand that your mean graph is your visual graph. And your hydrostatic graph is a graph that you have to calculate. So, the visual graph is always at the waterline. 
and since it's a B1, A1 is a waterline, and it cuts the midship vertical at the point J. The 5.9 meter drop is at the point G. Now, we have to find in effect the drop at to a center of rotation. It will give us a hypothetical graph. How do we find the drop at uh, the center of rotation? We have to consider some similar triangles. So let us see this waterline, WL, and the T are parallel to each other. Also parallel to each other is this line that I have highlighted over here. This line that is highlighted is also parallel to the waterline. This line passes through the forward and aft perpendicular and it touches the waterline at the forward perpendicular. Now, we have this waterline W1L1 which is cutting two parallel lines. So we have this angle theta and this angle theta to be alternate angles and hence they are equal. So in effect we are looking at two similar triangles. Since we have this uh, waterline at WL and this QR which actually is your length between perpendiculars which is being cut by your waterline W1L1 in effect, we have two similar triangles and two similar angles. So the similar triangles that we have in question are F, J and H, F, J and H, and P, R and Q. P, R, Q, and F, J and H. We are seeing the graph at the point J. We are seeing the graph at the point J. We have to calculate this distance, this distance, HJ. When we calculate this and we apply to the graph at the point J, we will get the graph at A. But since this is parallel to the keel, we can say that this graph at A is the graph at the center of rotation. So all this is because of similar triangles, similar angles, alternate angles. So how do we calculate this? Simple ratios. Hj divided by the trim, Pr, equal to Hf divided by Qr. Now, out of these four things, three are known to us. Only thing unknown is Hj, which is the correction. Hf is the distance between the center of rotation and your midship. And this distance is given to us in our hydrostatic tables. Trim is the difference between the forward and aft draft. This is also known to us. And QR is the length between perpendiculars, which is also known to us. In effect, out of the four things, HJ, HF, PR, and QR, we know three. What is unknown is the distance HG. So if you have a look over here, this is the same blue triangle that I have drawn, and we are going to work at it from the bottom upwards. So the mean graph at the point J is 5.9 meters. Okay? And let us assume that the correction is working out to 0.1 meters. Correction is HG. And we have the draft at H. And since we have the draft at H, we know that it will be the same graph at the center of rotation that is giving us a hypostatic graph equal to 5.9 plus 0.1 equal to 6 meters. So 
that is one example of calculating the hydrostatic draft when you have the resistance HF known to you and it is half of the pitch. Half of pitch. We go to the next slide. Okay. In this slide, I have taken out the ship. I have taken out the shape of the ship and I have explained to you exactly as I have mentioned. So HF, HF, HF upon LDP, that is QR, HF upon LDP, that is QR, is equal to HJ upon the film. Therefore, HJ, which is the correction that we need, the unknown value that we have to find, is equal to trim divided by LDP multiplied by HF. So when the ship, when the ship is trimmed at a certain and HJ to the mean draft is a hydrograph at point F. We go to the next slide. Now, in this slide, it is exactly the same condition as it was before, as I explained before. Except now that we are going to take the reference of a center of rotation from the half perpendicular and not from mixtures. So everything stays the same, the values are the same, as you can see the forward draft is 6 meters, half draft is 6 meters, mean draft is 6 meters, and the hydrostatic draft therefore is also 6 meters. She is now trimmed by the stern, power draft is 5.5, half draft is 6.3, the mean is 5.9, and the hydrostatic draft, which is a calculated draft, is working out to 6 meters. So let us see how. In this case, we are taking again two similar triangles. I have explained to you before how we have a similar triangles and alternate angles, and they are equal, hence it can be compared. Since this center of rotation is not exactly at initial angle, it is half, the trim changes y at the forward perpendicular and at the half perpendicular z are not equal. But y plus z is equal to the total trim of the ship. Now we take two similar triangles. In this case, the similar triangles in the question are P A F, P A F, and P Q R. P A F and P Q R. What we need to find is the value of P A, that is Z, in this case. So we take the similar triangles and we work out in this manner. P A upon A F equal to PR upon QR and we know the value of AF from our hydrostatic table that is the distance of the center of rotation from the half perpendicular. Now your hydrostatic tables could give it under the column AF or LCF. LCF stands for the longitudinal center of rotation. They are the same. So we have PA, which is the correction that we have to find, upon AF equal to the trim, that is PR, the difference of the forward and aft draft, and the LDP, that is the distance QR. Out of these four, the only unknown is PA, that is the value of Z. So from that, now in this case, here we work out from top and work down below. So we have the draft at P is equal to 6.3 meters. The draft has P 6.3 meters. Now we have let us suppose we have worked out the correction and that is equal to 0 0.3 meters. Therefore the draft at A is equal to 6 meters. Once we know this draft at A we can safely say that this same draft at A is the calculated draft at center of rotation, that is at F. So, here the 
saying is, when she spin by the stern, you have to subtract the value of z from the aft to get a hydrostatic draft. You have to subtract the value of z from the draft aft to get a hydrostatic draft. I will just correct this to small case. Now we go to the next slide, next example where the ship is trimmed by the head. The forward draft is more than the after draft. So here we have the forward draft and here we have the after draft. Forward draft at the forward perpendicular and aft draft at the aft perpendicular. Here we see that the forward draft is greater than the after draft. When she was on the even keel, forward draft was 6 meters, aft draft was 6 meters, the mean draft is also 6 meters, and because she has, she was on an even keel, no trim, the hydrostatic draft is also 6 meters. Now let us assume that the forward draft is more than the aft draft, that is the forward draft here is 6.3 meters, and the half draft is 5.5 meters. Thus, the mean draft works out to 5.9 meters. Now, once again, the mean draft is at the point J, where it is on the water line. We have to calculate the draft at the point H. We have to do that, we have to find the correction HJ. The hydrostatic draft therefore is less than the mean draft and let us suppose it is 5.8 meters. So here also we have got two lines, two parallel lines being cut by your water line W1, L1 generating two alternate angles equal in nature. Thus we can have two similar triangles F, J, H and P, to R. So, let us, uh, these are the same triangle that we have over here and we are going to work downwards from the draft at J, the draft that we see. The mean draft is 5.9 and let us say we have worked out the correction works out to minus 0 0.1 meters, okay, because we have to find the draft at H, therefore the correction is negative. This gives us the hydrostatic draft at H, but the hydrostatic draft is actually the draft at the center of flotation. This is just an equalized draft, okay, because this, uh, this is parallel to the keel. Therefore, the hydrostatic draft, in effect, is truly at the center of flotation. So, let us see how this works out. Here, I have taken out the ship and just the triangles and the water line. We have the two similar triangles, F, J, H and P, Q and R. F, J, H and P, Q, and R. We need to find the correction. That is HJ. So we have the HJ divided by HF equal to trim, that is PR, divided by QR, that is your LDB. Hence, we see over here, HF divided by QR, HF divided by QR is equal to HJ divided by PR. Okay. So, HF, the value of HF is from our hydrostatic tables, trim is the difference of the forward and aft draft, and LDP is also from your hydrostatic tables. Thus, the correction HJ to the mean draft works out to trim divided by LDP multiplied by HF. 
in this case the correction is negative when driven by the head subtract a j from the mean graph to get the hydrostatic graph at f we take the same shape similar condition except now she is we are taking the distances from the half perpendicular uh, the distance of center of rotation from the half perpendicular everything is the same except now the correction has to be applied to the half perpendicular now the graph that we read is at the point q therefore the correction that we calculate the value of z will have to be added so let us suppose now in this case we walk upwards your graph at q is 5.5 meters and you have worked out and the formula you get the correction to be 0.3 meters thus the hydrostatic graph is equal to 5.8 meters and the hydrostatic graph is actually located at the center of rotation once you apply your correction to the graph at q you get the equivalent graph at the point a and uh, that is at the actual graph at your center of rotation that is your hydrostatic graph now in the next slide i have taken out the ship and just presented the triangles to you so here we have fhj fhj and p q and r Okay. We have these two similar triangles, and what is known to us is okay. I'm sorry, my mistake. Uh, in this case, we are going to consider the distance of f, center of rotation, from the half perpendicular. We are going to consider the distance of f from the half perpendicular. That is, we have to apply the correction to the half graph. Which is located at the point Q. So P R upon Q R, P R upon Q R. P R is your trim. Q R is the L D P. Is equal to <coughs> A Q. That is the correction. That is the correction that you have to find divided by A F. Okay. So the correction A Q is therefore equal to Trim into LCF divided by LDP. Thus, the correction Z is equal to trim divided by LDP into LCF. When trim by the head, add Z to the after graph. Add Z to the after graph to get the hydrostatic graph at F. Now, students, I would like you to do some homework. We have got this ship where the center of rotation is now forward of the midships. It is always forward of half perpendicular, but it is in this case forward of midships. Now, for homework, you have to work out the correction using the same similar triangles, alternate triangles. And you have to find the correction when she is trimmed by the head, that is, follow the waterline W1 L1, and center of rotation is forward of H. <coughs> Next case is trimmed by the stern W2 L2 W2 L2, and center of rotation is forward of H. So I would like to share with you something that will make it easy for you to solve your problems on hydrostatic graph. I understand that this concept of when it will be positive, when the correction will be negative is a little difficult to comprehend. So I have worked it out for you in a simple algebraic method, using simple algebraic method. We all know that positive into positive gives us a positive result, negative into negative gives us a positive result, and positive into negative or negative into positive gives us a 
negativity term. So we will follow the simple basic algebraic convention. As I told you earlier, the sign conventions that we will be adopting are this. When she spin by the stern, that will be considered positive. When F, center of rotation, is half of H, that will be considered positive. When the ship is spin by the head, it will be considered negative. And when the center of rotation is forward of the midship, it will be considered negative. Similarly, air is always forward of the aft perpendicular and it is always negative. So having understood this sign convention, let us go further. We have trim by the stern, positive. We have center of rotation, aft of edge, positive. So positive into positive gives us a positive result. The correction has to be added. We have trim by the head, negative. We have center of rotation is forward of edge, negative. Two negatives give us a positive. We have trim by the stern, positive. Center of rotation is forward of edge, positive into negative. The correction, the sign has to be negative. That means the correction has to be subtracted. Trim is by the head, negative. F is aft of H, positive. Negative into positive gives us a negative. That means the correction is negative. It has to be subtracted. Now it is important to note that from which graph we have to subtract? We have to subtract from the mean graph, since we are taking into effect HF. Okay. So the correction has to be applied to the mean graph. Now we will take the case where F is taken from half perpendicular. Thus AF is always negative since it is always forward of the half perpendicular. Okay. Here we have the case AF always forward and the sign is negative. So once again, trim is by the stern, positive. AF is always negative. Positive into negative gives us a negative. And the, the sign for the correction is negative. Trim by the head is negative. And AF is always forward of the half of the is always negative. So two negatives give us a positive. Hence, the correction has to be added. But please note that the correction this time has to be added to the after graph. Correction this time has to be added to the after graph. Please do not make the mistake of adding it to your mean graph or subtracting it from your mean graph. We see this mistake very often committed by the students in their examination. You will, you will correctly calculate the value of the correction, but if you apply it to the wrong graph, then if you have to apply it to the half graph, you apply it to the mean graph, your answer is wrong. When you have to apply it to the mean graph and you apply it to the half graph, your answer is wrong. Another very common mistake that we see that the students commit is the sign of the, of the correction. When it is negative, you write positive. When it is positive, you write negative. So please make sure you get your signs correct. This is a very good tool that I have given you how to reduce the sign of the correction. Simple algebraic method. So with that, I end this lecture on hydrostatic graph and center of rotation. Thank you very much. Have a good day and stay safe. Goodbye. If you like my video, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, share as well as 
subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.